Hey everyone, I'm back with another unboxing. Um, this time I picked up a USB Type-C um, to USB dash B plug. So basically this is for this external hard drive right here um, to plug into this MacBook Pro 13 inch that does not have any USB ports. So this is actually the original wire that it came with. And um, for some reason, if this doesn't look very damaged, it does look a little like, you know, tilted to the left I don't know if it comes out in the camera. But um, it is a little wiggly. So it's, it's, it's very loose and it comes off all the time and it's annoying. And it only goes to USB, um, but you know, this only has USB-C connectors. So that's where this comes in. And this is from Cable Creation. It's one feet long um, and it supports speeds up to like 10 terabytes per second, which is amazing. And it costs $5.98. It's Amazon's choice. It has um, four and a half stars and 234 customer reviews. So hopefully this is the one. This is, this is a good one. So uh, let's do the wiggle test. I mean, it's not completely firmly planted, but it's not as easy to pull out either. I'm, I'm kind of tugging it outwards right now and it's not coming out as easily so that's the good thing um, and this time this goes into a USB-C connector so what I want to do is do a speed test uh, between the original wire um, and this new uh, wire I got from Amazon just to see if the speed is the same or not or better so let me go back to the original wire Uh, you know what? I can't even plug this in because it's USB, right? So I actually need one of these things right here. Okay, which I also picked up on Amazon. All right, so now this is lit up. This is connected to my uh, MacBook Pro here. So let me move this. Let me tilt it down like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit this. Select target drive. Choose the Seagate. Open. And now I'm gonna start the test. So it's doing a write test and you can see it's around 132 megabytes per second for write and for reading it's around 136, 137 megabytes per second. It's done one test already so now it's redoing the test again. So it'll constantly do this until you stop it um, just so that you can see like, you know, just continual testing to see if it's consistently around the same or not. So this time I got 119 megabytes per second, right? So it's still 136 megabytes read. Now we're back to 136 for write. And around the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and assume this is around 136, 137 megabytes. Uh, per second write and read speed, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. I'm gonna eject so I can change the wire. Okay. And just so that I keep the test the same, I'm gonna use this too, because I also have a USB-C here as well. So just so it's fair, I'll use it as well. Just, I don't need to, but just to keep it as similar as possible. So here's the new wire I got from Amazon.
plugged it in. I'm gonna go here, select target drive, Seagate, open, start. I'm not even hitting 130, I'm, I'm only at 126 megabytes per second, right. I'm back up there for a read. But this is kind of what happened earlier though, I think this time it'll go faster. No? Let's see, so again it's at 126 for right. Again we're at 136, 137 for read. So let's let's see this again. Okay, now it's back up to 135, 136 for right. And I'll let this go one more time. All right, so it's about the same. I would say there's a slight there's a little bit of slight slowness on the right. You know, it seems like every few times it's been under 136 for the right speeds. See, here we go again. It's under 136. So the original wire is a little better, actually. It's more consistent. Whereas this aftermarket wire that I got from Amazon, it's more convenient, but the right speeds aren't that great. So I stopped the test. Let me eject again. It, it complained earlier, but I'm ejecting everything. And this time I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to go direct. And let's see if this makes any difference. Wow. It shouldn't be slower. <laughs> I removed a bottleneck, but let, let's let it run a couple times here. Yeah, it's still kind of around 130. Okay, it's up again. The read speed is very consistent. All right, so the write speed's a little better at 133. And I'll let it run one more time on the right. So going direct helps it only very slightly. We're back to 134. And we're still around 132. All right, I'll stop it there. So it does seem a little better without this adapter, but only marginally. And this is direct. All right. Um, well, thanks for watching. Um, again, this is the cable creation USB C to USB B plug for the Seagate hard drive and my MacBook Pro. Um, again, it's only a couple of bucks, but I don't have to use this anymore. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell to get notified of new videos. Um, and I'll see you next time.